This YouTuber decided to change his life by doing a body transformation. Let's see how he did it and if the transformation is even real. My 75 day body transformation. Ah, YouTuber transformation. The YouTuber is Cal Freezy. But 75 days is not that long. How crazy can that progress be? It's safe to say I haven't always been the kindest to my body. Lots of late nights and definitely lots of drinking. And I decided it was time to make a change. I'd stumbled across this challenge called the 75 hard challenge. I've heard about it, but I don't really know what it is. I also don't know what it is. We've got our own workout after 90 challenge, but it's pretty crazy that we don't really know anything about the 75 hard challenge. So what actually is the 75 hard challenge? What is it? I need to complete six tasks every single day for the next 75 days. Okay. Let me run you through those two separate 45 minute workouts. What? An hour and a half per day? That's a lot. That's what I do five times a week after eight years of working out. If you do this for three days and you have no experience with like working out or anything, then you will be completely destroyed. Let's see if he sticks to this because he goes from zero to a hundred real quick, which normally makes people just give up. I have to consume a mind-boggling 3.5 liters of water. That's good. I have to stick to my diet without any cheat meals. It's a good amount of water, but that's doable. Drink your water. A minimum of 10 pages of a non-fiction book. Okay, so there's also reading in there, not just physical activities, but also a mental activity. Building good habits, basically. Take a picture of myself every single day. Really Progress pictures, then you see if you're getting better. And lastly, and maybe the toughest one, no alcohol. This will be really tough for us. Oh, yes. We never drink, and we never have. <laughs> and we're very fun at parties. <laughs> we don't go to parties. <laughs> We don't have a life. No. <laughs> We're at the end of day one of the 75 hour challenge. And I actually feel okay. Um, yeah, the first two weeks I'm anticipating to be really difficult. The hardest bit though, just from the first day, is definitely drinking enough water. That is the hardest thing on day one, not the working out. The water? What? What? <laughs> what? Water is, is like so easy. That's probably the last thing on the list besides taking the picture and the reading maybe to say that that's the hardest. Now, I absolutely hate running, but unfortunately, this challenge requires you to do at least one outdoor exercise. Just finished my first ever 5K. Did it in just over 28 minutes. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. For a first 5K. I needed a way that I could genuinely track this. So we headed to a place called My Vital Metrics in central London. And they were gonna perform a series of tests on me to really give me a gauge of where I was at in terms of fitness levels and all sorts. One of the main tests that you're gonna see me take is something called a VO2 max. It's a pretty good way of determining someone's fitness level. 90 minutes, an hour and a half of exercise every single day will force you to just build up that VO2 max. It's actually exactly 45. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, two max here, so. I mean, he doesn't look overweight, he doesn't look extremely skinny, and he looks pretty fit. So he's a bit above average. Let's see where he takes it. Guesstimate your body yeah. weight. Around 18, maybe? I was I was thinking 16 to 18, yeah. 18.8. 18! 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, okay! This right here is the photo that I took on day one. This is his before. Right, let me show you guys my morning fuel. A bit of peanut butter, honey, and it's needed because what I find is if I don't have breakfast, I end up cramming in my 3,000 calorie goal towards the end of the day. That's an interesting breakfast. He's probably gonna do a run after this, so it makes sense he eats carbs. It doesn't look like a what? No, it's very minimal. So over the next few days, I got into a really good routine of one gym session and one run every single day. With this routine in place, it meant that it gave me more time to really focus on the other parts of the challenge. Okay, so he's now more than a week in and he's got the exercising part nailed down. So he's doing that every single day and he's feeling good about it. Now he's focusing on the other points. Ooh. Charity match. All right, it's day eight of the 75 hour challenge and I'm not gonna lie, there is very few ways I'd rather spend it than here. Oh, crazy is just putting in a Rolls Royce of a performance. One of the hardest things about this challenge is definitely gonna be any time that I need to travel, I'm really gonna struggle to find time to make things work. An hour and a half of working out is a lot. Oh yes, and well, especially on a day when you're traveling, that's almost impossible. And that shouldn't be a problem normally. You either skip that day or try your best, but not hitting an hour and a half every single day, it will not destroy your progress. Jesus Christ. That's a bit sketchy. I don't feel as tired. 
Right, now I remember that first 5K, I was absolutely finished. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna be like at the end of this 75, man. If you have basically no experience, in 30 days you can have a crazy transformation. We've had crazy 30-day transformations on the YouTube channel as well. And I think for him, seeing the results he made in 30 days really motivates him to continue. I've come back today with a bit of a cold. Getting ill not just sucks because you, you have to take rest. You have to skip the challenge and you have to take that L. But what getting ill also does, it, it sometimes feels like all the progress you've made it's, it's gone, which is not true because you can get back to where you were in a few days. You're probably wondering why the hell I sound like this and that is because I'm so fucking ill. He sounds like he's about to die. Yes. Take your rest, man. Because he's not giving his body rest, he could be ill for way longer than needed, which in turn will also give him less results. <sighs> Woke up the next day, was really hoping that I'd feel a bit better today. No. I look like shit. I feel like shit. The illness was really taking its toll on me and I didn't want to fail this challenge. So I managed to get the run done in a record snail pace. My man is running while being so ill. Also outside in the rain. I wonder how long he's gonna be sick for. I look like I've lost weight. Oh, oh. he started with 83 kilograms. Oh. Eating is so difficult to eat so much. You shouldn't feel too bad. Being sick oh. drops your weight like crazy, but you, you will get this back in no time. For me, gaining weight, super easy. But some people find gaining weight very hard. It was clear my previous calorie goal wasn't enough. Who yeah. set that goal, by the way? Because if you would be thinking beforehand, so his maintenance calories are 20, 25, 28, 700 calories. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. An hour and a half, sometimes even more, of exercise. Which would mean they would have to add at least 800 calories to that. And so it was time to crank it up. 3,500 calories. That seems a way better goal. Also because of the newbie gains, I would rather have someone eat a bit too much than not enough because you want to just use everything. One of the biggest struggles that I kept having was if I would miss my morning session, it just meant I had to do two in the evening and that was just down to poor time management. I would want to do this in one go because I would do the workout. After the workout, I would just do my cardio and I would just give it my all for 45 minutes, and then I would have 24 hours to recover. At this point, you're probably wondering, how are you getting on with the no alcohol? That's us. That's us. Well, to be honest with you, it was actually okay. It helps that I had a friend that was doing the challenge as well. That's good motivation though, having a friend that's doing the challenge as well. You can keep each other accountable and that's great. Talking about that, Gymshark actually has a 66 day challenge going on right now. So make sure you check out their website for more info about that. But it is also about changing your life and making just small changes to build the right habits and actually just become a better you. If you buy some Gymshark clothing in general, then make sure to use code STEN. It's not really, it, it's here. Oh, it's yeah. here, it's here. Huh? It has been an insane journey and i it's like a bittersweet feeling this one i'm kind of sad it's ending because i've had such an enjoyable time doing it and i don't want it to end but it doesn't have to end no that's that's the thing that's the thing i'm super interested to see what someone does after this because when you finish a 75 day challenge 90 day challenge 30 day challenge it doesn't matter it's not really the end. It doesn't have to work out twice a day every single day. But if he starts doing one of those 45 minute workouts every single day, it already would be a massive change compared to his zero. So today, your body fat percentage yeah. is 13.9%. 13.9? I thought he would go to 15, but it's even lower. So you've lost about 2.2 kilos. You've lost about 4.4 kilos of fat mass. And you've put on about 2.2 kilos of, of muscle. Mass. Pretty good. It's really good. Yeah. I think, he, I, I think he could have used more calories. Let's move on to your VO2. So, right. 50.4. Oh, yes. Right. Ah, That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Increase. Yeah. Which puts you into the excellent <laughs> category. At the beginning of these 75 days, I looked like this. And while this challenge isn't a body transformation challenge. It's all about developing habits. It's safe to say that there was definitely a change in my body because this is my Damn. new self. Some really nice development in the chest, in the shoulders, the arms. Wow. While being leaner. So is this transformation real? Yes, it's still very real. The results speak for themselves though, because this is very mind blowing. You don't need to end it. You need to keep at your fitness. You can burn calories by walking. Reading a book is great for mental health. If you're healthy, you will not just feel fitter, but he will also just feel better mentally, more confidence, and it will just help with everything within his YouTuber CEO social media grind. So he had a crazy transformation in just 75 days. In the previous episode, we looked at a guy who's also trying to change his life because he had a condition where he never hit puberty. If you want to check out that episode, make sure you click here. Subscribe to the link in the bell. And if you want to change your life, download the 90 Day Challenge app.